What's up guys, today I'm bringing you another vlog because you know, I have nothing to do as far as toys go unless you guys want me to open up those uh, Rick and Morty toys I showed off in my last video. They're sitting here on my table. I'm not sure yet. Like I said before, I almost don't want to open them because they look so good in the box. So me and my girlfriend are going to head to town today. We got some stuff to do. One, the main thing is we got to go do something for uh, my family or with my family as far as regarding uh, my grandma and my aunt. You know, they passed away this past year. So then we're also, before that, probably going to be getting ready here soon because we need to go to some stores, places like Tractor Supply because apparently we just discussed that we need to find a new dog food. For our dog because apparently I don't know something's going on with the dog food he's eating now and it's just not good for him he's not throwing up everywhere it's just his skin's real dry and this is nasty so we gotta find him a new dog food but she's in charge of paying for that so yeah if it's a hundred dollars a bag she's got to pay for it also another thing we're gonna do is go to a new uh, grocery store that just opened up in town called Audi or Audi I don't know how you say it I've heard of it before I've heard some other people that I was like watching random videos on YouTube and they were going to going to this grocery store. So apparently they do some crazy stuff about far as how they keep prices down. And yeah, it's kind of weird. So they like charge you to use a grocery cart, but not like outrageous. It's like a quarter and you got to return it when you get done with it. You don't have any grocery bags or they don't supply any anyway. So if you've ever been to Ikea, when you go to Ikea, the way they do things too, it's pretty smart. They have a great business model. They do not supply bags. If you buy some, some small stuff, I mean, a lot of stuff you buy at Ikea is big, but if you buy small stuff like light bulbs and fixtures and stuff like that, you won't get a bag unless you buy bags from them. Or, also another thing is they do really cool is, if you buy something big and you need to strap it down, guess what they sell right there at the counter? Straps and tarps. So yeah, they're very smart. The Swedish people, they're smart. Then also we had to go to like places like TJ Maxx and Marshalls and Ross and stuff like that because my girlfriend's got to find some... Uh, luggage because she is actually going in a, on a cruise when is it in october she's going to where uh nassau half moon key and grand turk she's going to a bunch of third world countries so the bahamas the bahamas i count that as a third world if it ain't america it's third world so she's going there i'm not going i'll be home by myself with the dog which is fine with me me and him can chill for how many days six days six whole days without a girlfriend me and the dog will live in the bachelor life we'll probably starve but hey whatever we'll have some good bonding time some father-son bonding time other than that though guys uh today like i said i don't know i just want to take you along for the ride see what we can get into maybe find some drugs store some cocaine no i'm just playing uh don't plan on going to any stores to sell toys i mean ross and places like that sell toys but you know how shitty they are so yeah like I said, though, I might end up unboxing these uh, Rick and Morty toys just because, like I said, so cool in the box, but they're also so cool they need to come out of the box. So we decided before uh, we go to town, we open these bad boys up. I'm anxious. Let's go with Mr. Me Seeks first. And okay, one way to open up a bush pack, and that's for Rick with all your might. There's a leg. I'm going to shoot through these real quick. So here we go. Mr. Me Seeks. The actual plastic feels soft almost it just feels weird but yeah like i said shoulders elbows wrist knees hips feet rotate they don't really bend his head completely rotates 360 degrees simple but awesome at the same time like spot on man next up morty once again rip it open there he is morty Regular Morty, not even Morty, with them big old bug eyes. I don't know, Rick. It was kind of dangerous to me, Rick. I can't really talk to you. My voice is too deep to do impersonations sometimes. Same articulation though, knees, hips. He's a little stiff at the hip. Head with that weird mushroom cap on top of his head there. Elbows, wrist, and his feet do not bend. The feet, I think, just rotate, so yeah, there we go. And saving the best for last, we have Rip. Third time's a charm. Rip. Look at that. Check Rick out. The actual uh, lab coat is actually a soft plastic, so it does flex a little bit. Same articulation as the rest of them. 
even has a little bald spot back from the back of his head. Check that out. That's funny. His hair is just crazy. He got the drool, the green drool going on because he's a drunk. Oh, he's got a stiff knee. It clicked. Check that out. If I could get somehow got get that in a pose of him running, that would be awesome. I, will, I definitely want to take some pictures of these guys. Send us some guys like P2. He appreciates good photo work. Photography, a big word for it. But yeah, this guy looks freaking awesome, man. But yeah, guys, these are the new Rick and Morty toys. They look awesome. Got to get the other two so I can build that. So I can build that new snowball, the mech suit. Because uh, that's one of my favorite episodes, too. Especially whenever uh, he locked uh, Jerry in the crate. Cool stuff. Here's what they sell at the vet's office. Yeah. And it ain't cheap either. <laughs> 20 bucks or more. Bolt discount. I guess if a vet comes here and buys that, or a freaking breeder. Breeder? Like, Jesus. Karina Pro Plan. I can't pay $50 for a thing at all. No, that's stupid. Sorry, Tuck. Sorry, dog. You just gonna have to have dry skin. Because this is way too much. I mean, how much is this? 14 pounds for $28? That's ridiculous. Like, I'm trying to figure out why like, these are like weird prices. Reduce salmon. I don't know. Real salmon. Right, well, real salmon. Salmon. Is it salmon or salmon? And yeah, sweet potato recipe. Maybe I just need to give them sweet potatoes. Huh? We'll just start feeding them sweet potatoes. <laughs> Well, you know, that, the doctor did say that we could, um, I mean, look at this, that little thing. $20. Oh, look, they're Rachel Ray. I didn't know, that, I didn't think that they sold that here. I could do this. Rachel Ray. Keep on savings. Make sure you keep that. That's what Rachel. I was looking for, the Rachel Ray. Rachel was. Real B. Rachel Ray everywhere. Real chicken and veggie recipe. Are you recording me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Made with simple, natural ingredients. No poultry by pro meat, pillars, wheat, or wheat gluten. We always gotta buy a dog with food. Not really. Not really. Probably to get rid of Marshalls or Ross, but they're cheaper. Price cut. Her name's Henrietta, and this is Earl. Earl? <laughs> Let's go. Let's get this expensive dog food. Yeah. I don't know that much about flying, so you can ask Richard all that stuff. He'd know more about it. 
I'm talking about flying because my girlfriend finally got her piece of luggage. She found it with the one that was cute and big. Ah, girly shit. And it's only seven pounds? Yeah, it was only seven pounds. So that means I have 43 pounds that I can put in it. Do you think I can fill it up? Oh, uh, yeah. It might be 25 pounds of makeup. <laughs> but, uh. I don't take much makeup. Yeah. Right now, yeah, you can probably sweat it all off. Unless you're trying to impress some Bahamian. Aborigines third world country Bahamian man over there. Yeah guys, so uh, I guess my girlfriend's hungry, so we're gonna go get something to eat. And we're going to a place I've only been to once and I don't think I even ate when I went there. No, I don't think you did. Oh, I think, think you just drank a beer. A place called Islands. Is it Dollar Taco Time? So yeah, we're going there to get some tacos, because like I said, if they do, they have dollar tacos if you get a drink, I guess. How big are their tacos? I don't know, I've never gotten their tacos. Yeah. But we can share nachos. I want tacos. You can get tacos in. Whatever. Nachos, you can get nachos. Get some nachos. Nacho and taco, baby. And after that, we are going to, I guess by that time we're done eating, it'll probably be time to go to that little thing for my family where we're kind of releasing butterflies. I've never done this before. I've never even heard of somebody doing this. Yeah, I mean, what, what do they breed the butterflies and, or somebody has to like year round catch butterflies for the funeral home? It's freaking weird, man. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do next after we eat. And then after that, I don't know, cause you know, everything on Sunday kind of closes down early. Hey, this guy's fishing in a retention pond. Nice. But uh, well, at least it's not like a dirty retention pond. So yeah, all right, I'm hungry, let's go. Guys, so uh, we got done eating. They were not dollar tacos, they were dollar ninety nine tacos because at lunch they're dollar ninety nine. After five, they're a dollar, but you gotta buy a drink. Still, <coughs> six bucks. I got three tacos. Used to, I probably eat about ten tacos in a drink, but um, they were good for my tacos and a drink and my girlfriend's nachos because she got a water, so it was free like thirteen and a half dollars. If you got that at Taco Bell, it'll probably be about $15. And they're not as good as this place. I don't know how widespread Islands is. There's, it is only in Wilmington. They have one in Myrtle Beach. I mean, uh, sorry. Uh, Monkey Junction, Ogden, that place. And there's another one somewhere. Downtown. They have one downtown. Oh, well, apparently it's only here. Nowhere else. I mean, they're basically, one of the, as far as tacos go, I mean, you can't really beat them. I mean, they're better than Taco Bell, and who else sells tacos? I mean, Chipotle sells tacos, but nobody goes there for the tacos. I think Moe's sells tacos, but I don't think anybody goes to Moe's for tacos. It's either burritos or bowls there. But uh, yeah, this place is pretty good. Like I said, it's the second time I've been, but first time I've actually ate. But plus, they got Sun Drop on tap. Can't beat that. But yeah, now we are headed to the funeral home. But it's not like a sad time, though. Nobody died today. I've never done anything like this. Like I said, I still want to know where the hell they get butterflies. <laughs> got done with the service uh, pretty cool let all the butterflies go should have some video of it I think I did took a bunch of pictures of the butterflies but I uh, got a few more things to do we're gonna head to uh, Ross for no apparent reason because we've already got that piece of luggage I'm gonna go into Walmart just to see if they have anything of course and then after that we're going by that new grocery store that is uh the new hotness in Wilmington apparently and uh, my nose is itching Woo. The inside of my nose, does that count? Does that count if my inside of my nose is itching? Anyway, so yeah. 
Uh, I think my, think my girlfriend's gonna drop me off at Walmart because she's too lazy to go in. And uh, I guess I gotta walk around Ross. Is it Ross or Ross? stuff. Oh my god. So that's the biggest vacuum cleaner I've ever seen. <laughs> Alright guys, so we are back home. Sorry for the messy hair. I've been wearing a hat all damn day. Because I really didn't feel like doing my hair today. Yeah, we did all those errands today. Went to the uh, funeral home thing. I don't know what you call it. Some butterfly release celebration. I don't even know. And then you saw me went to that grocery store. And they did have a lot of cheaper groceries than your normal grocery store. <clears throat> it's kind of funny because some of the actual brands, like the off brand, looks just like the name brand. And I'm pretty sure it's just the name brand makes the off brand, but they don't put their name on it. That's why it's cheaper. The things we bought today, we got, like I said, my girlfriend's luggage for her cruise. Uh, bought my dog some new dog food because, like I said, his, I think we think his, new, his old dog food. We think his old dog food is a uh, well, current dog food. He's messing with his skin. Other than that, I stopped at a couple places. I stopped at Walmart uh, and the Walgreens to check to see if they had anything. Walgreens actually had like the whole new Spider-Man wave from the movie. I was actually so, kind of surprised. They had some Dorbs, the new ones for uh, Taskmaster and uh, Iron Spider. Of course, you know, I don't care about Dorbs. But I'm about to show you my next project of what I want to do. I don't know if I'm going to do it in this video. If I do, you'll see it. Or I'm going to do it in my next video. I want to completely rearrange all of these. Because I like to rearrange stuff all the time. I think it's time I rearrange my action figures. And because, I don't know, something to do with my Marvel ones, I want them somewhere different. There's my dog's butt. Hey, can you get out of the shot? I'm about to pull a freaking Christian Bell on you. Hey, what are you doing? I actually think I'm going to wait until my next video to do all that. Guys, yeah, let me know what you think about those action figures I opened up. I forgot I did that earlier too about the, uh, Rick and Morty action figures. Let me know what you think about those. And uh, that's pretty much it for today, guys. Thanks for watching, as always. And I guess I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Whatever it might be, a toy hunt or just a regular old day. I'll see you guys next time.